Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new Vizzy Art Neutral Mattes Milieu Palette. I had to look up how to pronounce it. Milieu. Milieu. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about it, seeing this eye tutorial, as well as seeing some swatches, then just keep watching. Well, I just want to give a big thank you to Muse Beauty Pro for providing me with this palette. They were at the makeup show in DC this weekend. I also went as well. I got to meet the team. It was wonderful. They are so great. And they gifted me with the brand new Milieu palette. So excited. You guys know I love Vizzy Art. I was going to purchase it at the makeup show anyways because it actually debuted two days earlier over the makeup show weekend before this was available online. So major details about this palette that you want to know. This is available today, Monday, August 5th on MuseBeautyPro.com. It is $80, but they are actually starting their sale right now, and it's a buy this, get this sale. This isn't included in any of the buy this, get this sale. However, anything that's not buy this, get this is 15% off. So this is $80, but if you order it between now and August 16th, you can get this for 15% off. I will put the link in my description box for you guys, but definitely if you are interested in this palette, do it now, get it for 15% off. So basically this is the Neutral Mattes 2 palette. If you don't know, Vizier is probably most known for their Neutral Mattes palette. It's a 12 pan palette of neutral mattes and it is a staple favorite of so many pro makeup artists and it's just the most well-known palette from Vizzy Art. Now, you guys know I'm a huge Vizzy Art collector. I have so many palettes. You guys aren't going to believe me when I say this, but I do not own the neutral mattes palette. The reason is I bought the Grande Pro 1 mattes palette, which is a bunch of eyeshadows before that palette and I just figured I have that one. I didn't need the neutral mattes. Unfortunately, I cannot do comparisons, but you can see between the photo and this how different these palettes are. It says online this palette descends from the iconic neutral mattes palettes in the same regular packaging, which is clear, very slim, just very, very functional as all Vizzy Art palettes are. And then, of course, you have the 12 shadows and you can pull them out. They are magnetic and you can switch in and out with their other palettes. They are very sturdy magnets, so I would recommend sitting down, putting it on a table, and getting something thin to kind of pull it out. It's a good thing they're sturdy, but also I have have destroyed some eyeshadows trying to take them out. The shades in here are all matte and they are designed to complement all skin tones. So this is described as a neutral mattes palette. I mean if you look at the swatches right here, a number of the colors I would say definitely lean more towards the warm side and then you do have that plum and that navy color which are more cool but they are very wearable colors regardless and there are some neutral toned neutrals and then you do have a couple warm tone neutrals and cool tone neutrals thrown in. Overall, just looking at it, it is a very functional and practical color scheme. So formulation wise, I have done a many Vizzy Art reviews. So if you've seen my Vizzy Art reviews, it's going to be a little bit repetitive because these are good eyeshadows and the quality in this specific palette is in line with all of their other eyeshadows. So if you were curious about that, same formula, they didn't change anything. Don't fix what ain't broke. If you are not familiar with the Vizzy Art formula, they are a little bit of a more loosely packed formula, so once you put your brush in, there is gonna be some fallout happening there. I personally don't get bothered from fallout because I just kinda tap my brush off and you're fine on the eyes. To the touch, they might feel a little bit more dry. However, that does not transfer over to how the eyeshadows actually apply. Though they do not feel buttery and smooth and as creamy as other formulas, Formulas. Oh my gosh, they just apply so buttery smooth to the lid and once I get to the tutorial You will see how they spread and blend themselves. I love a good matte palette I'm a huge shimmer girl, but you definitely need some matte palettes in your collection to balance out those shimmer colors The one color that I do find that Vizzy Art tends to struggle with a little bit and this is across the board But Vizzy Art is included in this is I really am not a huge huge fan of navies. I don't think I've come across an amazing navy. This one is a decent navy, but not 100% there, but I do like it. You do have to put a little bit of extra work in with it. It's, it's a good navy because all navies kind of suck. 
I really can appreciate the three darkest shades that they have down here. I think to make this more of a complete palette, a lighter cream color and a black would have been great in here because I feel like with those two colors added in here, you could really complete a whole entire eye look. Seeing me in bed, but I did just kind of want to add an additional point uh, to the statement that I just made. So I feel like this palette is more of an extension of neutral mattes. So what this palette lacks, honestly, the first neutral matte palette has. Uh, this color scheme is a lot different. It's a little bit more playful and colorful, uh, and it does pair very nicely as an extension to the neutral mattes. But I definitely think it does lack in the area of creating a full look with this palette. The three darker colors can be used as liners, so I really like that. That's why I almost wish there was a black, but I love using Vizzy Art's formula as liners because they are so concentrated in pigmentation. I actually use the plum as my eyeliner today. You do have to watch out for fallout a little bit. Make sure you tap off your brush, and just as a result of tapping off your brush, you are gonna have to kind of go in a couple times to get that liner really dark, but if you don't do your foundation first like I do oh go in for it let all the fallout happen because they're so rich they work so well as eyeliners and I'm very picky about the eyeshadows that I use for liner <sighs> I mean overall just with the quality these are fantastic it's so surprising how even the darkest shades blend out with such ease I really found especially with this color this color and this color which are the colors that I used for this look today even more so than normal, I felt like they just did the work themselves. Some of the colors that I use, I felt like could be scary, but they just worked well and I didn't have to work hard to get them to work. I did lean towards a more warm eye for my look today. However, you do get quite a range of colors that you can use to create different looks. If it were up to me personally, I would have liked to have added a little bit more depth in these tan colors. You have a lot that have a very similar shade. The undertones are different, but I think with adding more depths, you could really get a little bit more out of this palette. I think these berry pops are really beautiful. I think you could create a really pretty plummy berry look. Uh, it's a nice twist. It's not necessarily neutral, but it's a very nice twist, and I'm not complaining about that at all. And the navy is a really nice touch as well, because I think that people forget that navy can be wearable. Navy is actually a very flattering liner color that makes the whites in your eyes look brighter, and I love it against a blue eye. So just keep that in mind. So I really like this palette. It's not the most fun palette in the world. It's a neutral palette, but I think it's really well curated. I think this is a wonderful palette if you are a makeup artist and it is a little bit of a different twist to the actual neutral mattes palette so I think it would be in your best benefit if you love that one to get this one to expand that range even more. I know for me on my clients I use a bunch of browns and different tones of browns and just layer a bunch of browns on the eyes to really create dimension. I personally feel like I cannot have too many shades of brown so this just adds to my crazy really so I am very happy with this palette. So, so let me show you how I got this look Look, it's very very simple I wanted to keep it more smoky but natural for you guys it is an all matte look which is something I don't do very often but every time I wear a matte look I love it so I started off with this color right here it's kind of a light tan color it shows up a little bit darker on my eyelid than it looks in the pan but it is a beautiful transition shade on light skin tones and I just blended that all over my crease and then I took this terracotta -y orange color right here this is is what really laid the foundation for creating a more warm look today and I just blended that all through the crease but in that all through the outer corner and I was very impressed with this shade and how well it blended itself I've had shades like this that have not worked out so well and this just kept blending and I was amazed at that and then I wanted to add a little bit more color and pop to this look so I did go in with this slight cranberry color right here it's like a rosy cranberry and you can see I actually used a blending brush I didn't even use a packing brush and you can see how much pigment got onto my lid it was spreading out like butter 
absolutely a gorgeous color. Very impressed with how well it spread on my lid. And then finally, I took on just a really flat definer brush, this plum color, and that is what I used for liner. So I lined it on my upper lash line, added a little wing, and I pressed it right against my lower lash line as well. And then I did this off camera, but I did kind of try to smoke out that bottom lash line so it wasn't so tight and defined. And to try and keep the look wearable for you guys, I just did regular mascara. So I hope you guys like this look. I didn't really like it at first, but then I started walking around my house and I was like, mmm. This is actually really cute. So anyways, I think that's all I have for you. And if you are a beginner or you are a neutral wearer, I think you will really like this. As far as working on a different range of skin tones, I do think this is a great palette. I think it's going to work great for even medium to deep skin tones. The pigmentation in Viseart's palette is so rich that this is going to show up. This is a very well-rounded palette for a lot of different people. So if you want to get it for 15% off, do it now. Viseart's expensive. This palette's $80. At least get a little bit of a discount while you can. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. Let me know if you will be picking this palette up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you wouldn't mind taking the time to do so. I upload a lot of reviews and I love talking about makeup, so if you like listening about it, you know what to do. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.